Back to the WRT Boxing, this is Mr. A. He's talking a breakdown and prediction for the vacant WBC International Silver Heavyweight. Now you know when you hear that word silver, you start to climb up quick. This is going between Nathan Gorman versus Mohamed Shultby. Um, this happened on the 11th. It's going to be on the undercard of the Liam Smith and Liam Williams. Now Nathan is ten and zero with eight KOs. Um, he's six three and a, he's, his height is six three. Mohammed Schultzby is thirteen and zero with eight KOs. He's six four and a half. Um, twenty one years old for Norman, twenty six for Schultzby. Now Schultzby is ranked a hundred and eleventh in the world of heavyweights, and Gorman is ranked sixty six. So both undefeated. <clears throat> both young very young prospects in their careers but they're they somehow got matched right <clears throat> and they got this WBC international silver heavyweight bout that's gonna be vacated so this is gonna probably put um, push them further in their career than, than they would like unless their handlers choose to either vacate that belt or keep the belt and just still move slowly now the breakdown of prediction with the feet and legs nathan gorman he's 21 years old he's a big thick thick kid his thighs are massive he's more of a take small steps um he, he he's he can learn his needs improvement on backwards retreat um, but more of a, right now in, in his career he's just more about small steps around the ring not too much um, leg usage unless it's just for a base power driven punches but as insert as far as defensively putting himself in position he just his leg his feet are just about small placement steps he's uh, trained by Ricky Hatton so Ricky Hatton is teaching him that inside footwork that's nice tight footwork and that's what he's working on as far as Mohammed Schultby he's definitely the quicker feet quicker of the legs too he's more agile around the ring he could circle the ring in and out he, uh, more looser with his legs he definitely has the footwork how fancy is it I don't know but his feet are definitely the faster feet and the faster legs he's loose he's more nimble on his feet but from what I'm seeing like I said Schultby he's faster he gives himself in small steps he's like kind of does this puts himself in proper position so I want to give him the faster legs and feet I, he could go in and out I'm going with short, short be on the faster, on the legs and, de and legs and feet. Thumbs up the video. Thank you very much. Now here on defense. Hmm. The fact that uh, Norman, that's his name, right? Nathan, Nathan, Nathan Gorman. I mixed them together. Nathan. The fact that he is the slower foot of fighter. He's easily a hit. And uh, Schultby, his legs makes him a little more elusive around the ring in and out. Like I said, he's not a sitting target as much as Gorman is. So just on that factor alone, whether it's a clean shot or not, you can hit Gorman. As far as catching punches and actually like the technique of defense, um. I, just to, just to be right in front of you slipping and rolling punches I probably give that to Nathan though I don't from what I've seen I don't I haven't seen Schultby display that type of roll a punch and counter with it type defense I not to saying that Gorman displayed a lot but he's more in front blocking and he can hit I seen that process like I said they're young prospects you know 10 and 0 13 and 0, they're, they're young so I've seen that process beginning more with Gorman than I've seen 
Schulte's Schulte defense is more of just keeping the distance, the gap, and moving around the ring. You know, that's more of his defense. So, with that being said, I am going to go with not being hit is always better than being hit clean or unclean. Because I said, Gorman, <laughs> yeah, Gorman, Nathan Gorman, he's heavy, heavy footed, so whether you're hitting him clean or not, he's there in front of you to be hit. And any shot starts to add up in boxing. You know, you, you hit on the shoulder, the chest. I don't care. When, when I used to, you know, get into fights, I used to hit people in the chest. <laughs> that was my little thing. I hit people in the chest. So, you can chest. Shopey is out of range. So, I'm going to give him the way he keeps that. I'm giving the defense to Shopey. Now, as far as punching combination and hand speed. Even though Schulte is the quicker, leaner guy, I think I'm going to go with hand speed with Gorman. He's a bigger dude, but I think he has, he's a bigger dude with hands. And combinations, he his, his favorite combination is the one, two, left to the body. He loves that combination. Um, but he, he could double up on the jab. Who has a better jab for jab between these two? <sighs> That's a good one. Who snaps it? Because Shopee's more because Shopee's a Shopee's a patient fighter. Like everything, it just about him looks slow. I was like, boom, a power shot, I come. You know, I want to say jab for jab. I give it to. I think Gordon might have a jab for jab. Power, strictly power. I would lean with the thicker, bigger Gordon, Gorman on that one. Um, speed variation, like I said, Schulte fights patience. I don't, I don't see him throw a lot of fast combinations. But Gordon, I keep going to say Gordon, Gorman, he. You know that even though the, the one two left body hook is his bread and butter combination, he knows how to he's good at changing his speed up in his delivery. So I'm gonna give the speed variation to him, power to him, combinations to Gorman, jab to Gorman. Um, um I really have no idea who the house favorite is on this one, but I will. I would think maybe uh, Gorman might be the favorite. Considering I don't know, uh, he's more with the famous Ricky Hatton trainer, the back end of Ricky Hatton. Maybe got the right people connections. I don't know. So I'm, I'm going on a limb to say Gorman might be the house favorite. Um, now before I go into the double RT boxing with Mr. A prediction, please subscribe. I hope you subscribed already. And if you have not, it's your first time coming to my channel. I'm glad you made it to this point. You get to hear me say subscribe, and I hope you do subscribe. Thumbs up the videos. Leave a comment down below. Who is the house favorite over there? You can leave that in the comments. Um, who do you got winning this fight? Uh, who do you? You can leave it any comments and all that. Who do you got a, the power puncher and all that? But now, going into the Double RT boxing show prediction. And Mr. A is going to go with this fight was real tough. I wasn't too sure to go with the movement of Schultz because I think his feet work might be enough to stay the distance and outlast and outlast uh, Gorman. I think because I think Gorman could easily knock this dude out, but I just don't know if he's going to have the feet work to stay with. Schultby, so I'm gonna go with Schultby, who does have power of his own, to be on the outside, moving, moving, getting the slower foot, Gorman out of position, scoring some points with the jab, body work here and there, and then when it comes to right, I think he'll land enough bombs, if to at least win by a, a split decision, if anything. Yeah, I got I got Schultby. I got Schultby winning 
and becoming the new uh, WBC Silver Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. Let's see how that one goes. Leave a comment down below. Who do you got winning the fight? Thank you very much. That, that was a tough pick for me, guys. That was a tough one.